Can you use old seeds to plant your garden? The better question is, should you? There are plenty of tests that you can do to test your seeds for their viability. And there's lots of videos that will show you how to do that. I've got a lot of seeds here. I'm not going to do that for all my different seeds. What I suggest is going online and searching for a seed viability or seed longevity chart. I have a few here, and they're also called seed life charts. They look something like this. And you want to get a couple of them because they will vary. Uh, so I've got one here that's got estimates from seed companies as well as estimates from universities that have agricultural programs. And so there is a bit of a range. So I would suggest maybe printing off a few and just getting an idea of the range a high to low for each seed. And then what I do on an annual basis is I'll take inventory of all my seeds and I'll look at the dates because the seed packets will have a date on them. Actually, let me find one that's very clear to read. So you can see here, there's a date on there. You look at the chart, you check the date range, see if the date on your seed packet on the back falls you know, beyond that range of the seed's expected or estimated lifespan. And that's also a lifespan based on optimal storage conditions as well. And then ditch the seeds that are too old and get new ones. Uh, that way you're not, you know, wasting potting soil or seed starting soil and your time and effort uh, to start seeds that aren't going to germinate. The other tip to remember from this is that if you save your own seeds or if people give you seeds and you put them in little plastic baggies, Make a label of obviously what the seed is. I'm sure most people will do that, but also make sure you write down the date. So that's today's quick tip for seed starting.